going on YouTube, Giasno right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting on iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 for a jailbreak. Exploits for the iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 have been released. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare Phone, which helps you backup your data faster than with iTunes, restore it, and also they have tools to fix your iOS if it's broken. Check the program out in the link below. So just a few hours ago, Ian Beer has posted this in here, which is Project Zero, and it's actually a write-up called Deja Xnu, which Xnu is pretty much the kernel on iOS. Now, it talks about Pangu, it talks about iOS 7.1.2 and an exploit for that, but also goes to discuss a vulnerability in iOS 11.4, 11.4.1. Now, aside from this write-up in here, which I definitely recommend if you're into this um, security thing, they also posted this in here, which is pretty much called iOS kernel stack memory disclosure due to failure to check copy and return value. And this one has actually been patched in iOS 12. So it works on iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1. If you take a look in here, it pretty much says that it's been fixed in iOS 12. So yeah, it's definitely a vulnerability in iOS 11.4.x, which we can use in a possible jailbreak. However, we're going to talk about that in a few seconds. Then he also posted this one here, which is a kernel use after free due to bad error handling in personas. And this one also says that, quote, this issue was fixed in iOS 12, but not mentioned in the bulletin. Apple assigned CVE 2018-4337, but have not updated their bulletin to mention this. So it's pretty much a vulnerability that was a thing. Apple acknowledged the vulnerability. And of course, they fixed it, but they did not make it publicly available. They did not actually tell us that well there was a vulnerability in there but it has been fixed in iOS 12 which means that it works on iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 and finally this one has been released in here which says quote iOS or macOS sandbox escape due to Mac message sent from shared memory and if you take a look in here this one is also working for the 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 and you have the uh, Dejax new part in here which is part of the write-up that we talked about so these two are going together now we going to ask me what I can do with this. iOS 11.4.1 is unfortunately no longer signed. So if you want to go ahead and downgrade iOS 11.4.1, you can no longer do that, unfortunately. And iOS 11.4 is also unsigned, which means that you cannot go to that either. If you're running iOS 12, none of these vulnerabilities that have been presented in here are working for you, which is kind of unfortunate. But if you're running iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1, this can indeed work in a jailbreak in the future. However, they are still not enough for a jailbreak to be created on top of them. They are for the moment just proof of concepts that the vulnerability exists and can be triggered, but these are not the vulnerabilities that we need. These are not kernel exploits that we need because they do not give the uh, kernel task port and this is unfortunate, but we still need root and we still need a proper sandbox escape for the iOS 11.4.1. So although these are very important and they are indeed a step in the right direction, we still cannot make a jailbreak on top of these for the moment. Now, what we actually need in order to be able to create an iOS 11.4.1 jailbreak or iOS 11.4 jailbreak would be a kernel exploit that is capable of pretty much pounding the kernel to the point where we can get the kernel task port. If we get that, we can then use the kernel task port in something like Chilean, for example. But for the moment, these vulnerabilities in here do not do that and we cannot use them per se for a jailbreak. However, as I said, they're a very good step in the right direction. So I'm going to keep you updated when a proper kernel exploit is released, but for the moment IMBeer has indeed released something very, very important. Even though we cannot build a jailbreak on top of them right now, they will indeed be very useful in the future. Now, if you're already on iOS 12, unfortunately, these will not work for you, and these are not very good news for you, of course, but there are vulnerabilities for the iOS 12, and the focus has indeed been shifted to the iOS 12 now. So, yeah, I would expect a jailbreak for the iOS 12 in the future. However, for the moment, iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 11.4 are the target, and they are easier to jailbreak due to the fact that they do not have any mitigations like the core trust enhancements and so on, which which makes it easier to jailbreak them and of course to deploy a jailbreak payload. Anyways, for the moment iOS 11.4 and iOS 11.4.1 are good versions to stay on, so do not update to iOS 12 if you're interested in jailbreaking. This is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, Geosnow right here, until the next time, peace out.